Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. Oh, I love Sundays. A day just to relax. I don't do any housework or anything. Today's craft day and the time to spend with uh, you. Um, what I'm going to make is so stinking simple that I'm going to make a really short video, okay? All we're going to need is a floppy hat. We all own one, don't we, girls? Somewhere in the back, you can see even mine's dingy. It's perfect. I don't need to make it farmhouse at all. It is what it is already. Okay, also, what are these? Okay, um, and there's going to be a gigantic roll of bounty paper towels. Also a bandana. I don't know if anybody can guess what we're going to be doing, but if you got any guesses, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Um, let me move stuff a little bit out of my way that we're going to be using. Just going to set it there, show you what I did. So I moved camera off me, okay? I'm hoping this shows up. You let me know. Trying angles to be able to show. I made a little template, okay? Because as much as I love to draw, I don't know if you can see my wonkiness, but you know, a lot of wonkiness going on. Finally got one the right circle. I know I could have traced something and all that stuff, but I didn't do that. Um, I just threw it out on here, stuck it on a, a piece of um, cut out cardboard. And all I'm going to use the cardboard for is to outline eyes. I want to make, of course, Scarecrow's got to have eyes. So this is the beginning of eyes. So I'll use this directly onto the paper towel. Okay, now we're not doing it directly on the roll because we don't want bleeding through to the other layers, right? So... Um, all I'm going to do is take uh, another piece, good sized piece of paper towel, okay? And I'm going to pick a spot to start in. I, wanted, I should have rolled out one more, uh, but I didn't. So we're going to just go with it. Um, now I'm just kind of looking at placement, okay? Because that's what's going to be showing. The hat's going to be on top. Um, etc. So, I believe what I marked out, oh, I know, that's right, I did even use a ruler, guys. I am getting really professional to use a ruler. I'm not a ruler person. Okay, it was four and a half inches at the top, so it needs to go there. Okay, good enough. Okay, so then kind of Eye it, make sure it's straight, get your little marker pen. What is that? New videos from the Bounty Hunter stuff. Okay. Anyway, wipe that spam off. Trace your circle. Do the same thing over here. Let's see here. What's going on? Because I don't want a wonky. It looks wonky. Who's going to like wonky? Alright. I believe that's it right there. So, let's give it a try. You got plenty of paper towels. If I get it wrong. And crafting is supposed to be fun, right? I'm having fun. I hope somebody watches my video and enjoys the fact that I'm talking. You know. Um, now I'm noticing as I traced with the ink onto the paper towel, there was a slight bleeding around the edges. I don't think it's going to matter. It's a scarecrow, for goodness sake, right? I'm just going to try and make it cute, cute, so um, I'm going to just freehand the eyeball, okay, 
and all that is is a walk see the you know I've got another trick here that's uh, reason it's messing up is because there's paper towel under there I need my trusty plastic mat if you don't have one they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they come in a pack of two so they're super handy if you're not super clumsy like me because <laughs> look at me I'm having a hard time just sliding that under there okay now I should be able to draw some better lines now um, Yes, and not tear the toilet paper. We don't want to tear it. I don't want to tear it. And I'm guesstimating here so that we can maybe get something that's close to the other thing. And, of course, you know, it's, she, she's got an eyeball. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. Some freehand drawing. Never is perfect. I'm not perfect at all. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Alexia. I'll look at your uh, video. As, it, as soon as I figure out what's wrong. Okay, there. Now I'm back again. Okay, we're at six minutes. Let's move along. Okay, the nose. I'm just going to make it a nice round nose. Freehand it. I'm going to go from here, you know, I keep looking over here because I got a template, you know, naturally I kind of drew out what I uh, was thinking about doing. So, that always changes though, so don't ever, you know, hold me to it because I can change in a snap and actually the eyes are a little changed because I did have them going together. All I did was draw a simple oval, you know, real simple. <laughs> And then, of course, I want to come in and give it one of them cute, um, there, okay, and, uh, that's free, and again, I apologize, it's probably, uh, you know, I know it's not perfect, but, you know, farmhouse isn't perfect, right? Anyway, so I'm coming around here because I want to show um, the stitches that was used to put this baby smile on. This baby, listen to me. This uh, girl, because it's a girl. Uh, scarecrow, by the way. I don't know if I... I don't think I told you that. So, that's important to know, right? So, there... Okay, hey, looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I want to put some eyelashes again. Just a little freehand. And hoping I don't mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. You notice I kind of get quiet when I am concentrating on painting something, I guess. I, I didn't know that. Learn something about yourself every day is what my grandmother, who's passed now, my grandma Gwill, learn something new every day and have God in your life. She was very... Very good, Kristen. Not a shove it down your throat kind of thing, but uh, a woman who loved the Lord and had the Holy Spirit, and she only wanted good for everybody. So she was always doing good things. Okay, well, we got our eyelashes on here. Got a little talk about my uh, cute grandmother. Now what I'm going to do is uh, find the lid to the pen. And what do you think so far? Do you think you could draw something as simple? I mean, use a template for the eyes. Nobody can draw a perfect oval or circle or unless they have help with a apparatus of some sort. And I chose, as you saw, a um, T 
template made out of a cardboard piece of box. I use cardboard quite a bit, actually. It's wood, guys. And uh, it saved me a lot of money, actually. Um, okay, so after you've got the face drawn pretty much on, um, I'm, and so let me show you the reason that, you know, because we didn't want the bleed throughs. And you're, if you're using a new bounty, that's your back, that line, that opening. Okay, so then all you're going to do is put this piece of paper towel from a different roll. And it's going to get wrapped. Just easily wrapped. In fact, I'm going to make it stop at the back near the the uh, new start of the paper towel which we're making a back I'm trying to fold it so that when I put it back on it will be super easy and uh, there we go okay so once you have it all I did was wrap it see there's the back Wrapped it around. Do, do, do. Oh, I'll get another from Unicorn Dust Design. I love you, uh, Sammy. Um, oh, you approved a photo I posted. Oh, how I love that. Okay, I'll look at it in just a second. I hope that you go and look at mine. Um, Crystal's Creations. Oh, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> creations by crystal at youtube.com anyway if you get to ever see this miss sammy okay back to what we're doing okay we got the face okay we got the basics of the face anyway right so i'm just giving you a tutorial on the basic okay so you, i'm gonna do details on on the face of the eyes you know everything so it's gonna look really nice and real little color all that but of course when I do that I will take it off okay just off still an unopened seam from a brand new bounty thick okay deal I don't know why I keep showing me that am I into paper towels or something I'm so weird, aren't I? I watched myself on here. I think, my goodness, I'm weird. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to try, huh, which I have failed so many times, to pause it. Uh, if it doesn't pause, it'll be another video and it'll be done. Um, I can show you how it turned out. I think it's pretty easy. I think most of y'all pretty much got it. You probably just want to see what it looks like all done. So I'm going to try, and this is a try, to just pause it if it shuts off. Oh, also I wanted to mention paint pens, Sharpie. <sighs> what a game changer. Anyway, look at all these pretty colors. I don't know what the blue is. I don't know how that got stuck in there. But anyway. Oh, I see. I put my black Sharpie, too, in there. Okay. Well, anyway, those are the big ones that I got. The paint pens. So, I'm hoping that they're going to work on my project, to Color in the eyes. You know, lips, all that stuff. I make... I have tons of old medical bottles because my husband works for a company, a medical company. So, um, I've decorated the, it a million, and then they come in short jars like this, and, you know, modge podged it, um, or, you know, just decorate any way you want to. But if you want any of those, let me know. I can always whip one together and mail it out to you. Okay, put you back on pause. And it looked like it worked. Maybe the pause. Hi. Just wanted to kind of give you a little touch and base. Like I forgot you, but as you can see, it's coming together here. You're starting to see eyes. 
Okay. Now, if I didn't have a mat down, you see what I would have. Or if I'd have done it straight onto the toilet paper round, it, this paint pens and everything would just, you know, ruin it, go right into the next paper towel. And then we didn't, we wouldn't have had such a pretty thing happening here. Back to drawing. Um, maybe you'd like to see a little. All I'm doing now is coming back over eyelashes. This is a Girl Scout Scarecrow. I think I mentioned that to you. I hope I did anyway. That turned out a little wonky. But you know what? All things are fixable, right? Okay, I'm gonna pause. Hi, are you still there? Okay, back again. Looks like it's recording. Looks like I'm learning. I'm, you know. Um, so we're ready to show you the face. Um, real easy. So super easy. It's crazy for me even to be making a video on it. And I'm sure others have done it too. And I, I don't remember seeing anybody, but I don't know. I, I, you know, watch a lot of crafting videos, um, you know, before I ever even decided to do this. I was already doing watercolors and stuff since I was, oh gosh, old enough to hold a pencil. I was drawing Disney characters as a kid. And then, you know, I was bought a little tiny little paint set, you know. And uh, I painted on whatever I could except walls uh, or good furniture. Yeah, that's what an artist does. You know, we want to create something. We want to make something pretty. Um, and that's probably how you feel too, I bet. Okay, so next, really easy. We're not going to make this complicated. I could make it more complicated. Actually, I guess it needs... Maybe, 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 baby, some, maybe raffia to stick out below the hat, you know? Let's try that. I'm going to unravel this. I kind of did that tie because I didn't want to have a mess, but it looks like it really is. Well, yeah, it saved a little bit of a mess, but anyway. There we go. So I got me, you know, wonky, you know, sizes all put together. That's raffia, by the way. And I'm going to put that, you know, look at me. I'm going to put that right here. <laughs> I'll put this right here while I finish. <laughs> oh, silly me. Okay, I've got my glue gun all hot and ready. So I want to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I am. Huh. I'm wondering if good old Dollar Tree glue stick would be a better choice than a hot glue gun. Because this is just temporary. Uh, it's nothing that I want to be permanent. These paper towel rolls, you know, hey, they're expensive. And during the COVID, paper was just, ugh, couldn't get any. Well, let's see what happens when I roll this around with a good coat of that. But for, well, let's see, no, put that on first. Oh, I'm not thinking. Okay, that's just sticking us from the glue. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Oh, I should have practiced the placement before the glue. But, you know, I do things kind of on the backward side. Okay. Can everybody see? All I'm doing is trying to line it up with the back. And then to gently then just roll it. And you will come to the, your end where I put a bunch of um, a glue stick on there. To see if that would be a better idea than hot glue. Did I just 
put my finger in black paint. That's the worst, isn't it, guys, when you mess up? Huh. I don't like it. Okay, well, it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing, so I'm going to add some glue, some good old wood glue stick. Always likes to get stuck on me. Won't stand up. I need a box to, that holds my glue gun. I saw a crafter has done that, and uh, I was trying desperately to figure it out, but she just had one little box, and I couldn't figure it out. Okay. And I'm having a hard time with this, too. Yeah, there we go. Will you stay there? Yes. Yes. I love you too. Thank you for staying. Yeah. And because the other piece isn't doing its thing either, I'm going to put a bead there. And a bead down here. Just fold it. You can't see a thing I'm doing, can you? Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry about that. These robocalls and things interrupt and, you know, flash across the screen, so I'm not sure where I'm at. And now I'm going to try to do something backwards. But anyway, the piece was too long for where it's glued. You can see a little wonkiness in the glue still. So, we're going to unlock it. Unwonk it. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't think it is. But I tell you one thing. The super glue does a lot better than a glue stick. So, I'm going to bend it back over. Because we don't want to see any of this, you know. This needs to be just covered. And I don't feel like cutting actually hungry okay you can see okay good all right so boom boom i'm gonna put one more little hot bead of glue there oops got my finger yeah dang it and i've got all those cool little tools too but it happens it just happens sometimes and we're not going to get upset about it. But there we go. Okay. Ta-da. Nice clean back. Um, of course, nobody's going to see the back. They're just going to have the front. Cute. Ta-da. Okay. Then I thought, you know, hey, you know, indeed it's a bandana. Which I had already actually thought about before even doing the project. I thought, oh, that bandana would be perfect. Yeah, it is. And I'm not sure. I'm going to turn it towards there. Maybe I can see back by looking at my own film and not have to let you miss out on all the good stuff on what to do, how to do it. I already had this pre-knotted and stuff. Didn't measure anything. Uh, I did good to measure where the eyes were going to go and how far down. Okay, well... I'm not going to use any glue or anything to keep that on. Um, I'll probably slide it over just a little bit because I don't want that bow to be a problem. And, you know, he's a cool cat. Or she's a cool cat. She wears hers on the side a little bit. You know, all girls need hair, right? Okay, well, let's do this. Let's, let's put the hat on, try it out, see what you think. Didn't like the way that landed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Something like that. Something. And I'm going to be working with this because it's a girl. And I want her little eyelashes to show. And I'm going to put a pretty flower here. Um, ladies need a flower on their hat, right? And that's it, guys. 
Um, oh, the hair. Do I want hair, guys? Or maybe stick it. You know what I'm going to do? There we go. That's a good idea. I'll stuff the raffia from the back under the bandana edge and work it around to the front and see what I get. And anybody, I'm hoping everybody can see. I'm working kind of backwards here so you guys can see. And I can just look up on the film camera and see if it's tucking or not, which I feel like this side is not giving me what I need. It's I'm trying. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to turn it towards me and fix, fix it up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, lovely view, right? Maybe you'd rather look at me all confused as I'm doing this. Huh. It's better, isn't it? Just a little better. And somebody you can see is talking to you and doing the craft. And I finally, I've come a long way to learn how to even do a video. I'm just trying to get viewers and, you know, I just want to share my stuff and, and listen to what other people are doing and what they're creating and you know all that good stuff i'm a talker kind i like to talk to my peoples okay well anyway I'm gonna, don't want to clean it up too much you know because it is a scarecrow he's stuffed with raffia and hay and all that good stuff so Yet I don't want to cover up the face either. Okay, I think we're getting what we want. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to put a whole lot into this because it's just silly. And Halloween's almost here and, you know, I'll be breaking this apart. Okay, here we go. She looks good, guys. You tell me. Did we make a scarecrow? That grass is a bouquet that I happen to have sitting there. Sorry about that. Move it over a little. But you can kind of see the raffia sticking out. I'll probably make that a little thicker, you know, coming up out of there. But that's it, guys, okay? I'm wasting time. It's 27 minutes, and I'm also going to be making sure when I put the flower on that this does not get in the way. It's probably going to be a nice fluffy peony, one of them really luxurious ones I want to put up there, and that'll bring it up. Can you see it? I'll send a picture or something later, but I think you guys get it. It's where, uh, it is a scarecrow made from paint pen and paper towels, a floppy hat, and an old bandana, and a little raffia. Snap! We're done. See you on the next one. Bye.